Hey y'all, I worked really, really hard on a video this afternoon, canning banana peppers. And the banana peppers look great, by the way. But I wanted to see if you noticed something in this video that I didn't know until later this afternoon. But there's no taking it back. I'm not gonna redo the video. And I wanted to show you how to can banana peppers. If you see the funny, Please comment and let me know. And then, uh, <laughs> laugh, <laughs> just laugh. Hey y'all, I'm Val with our Forever Farm. We're back in the kitchen today and we're gonna do these banana peppers. We, I cut them all up and placed them in the refrigerator. I put a paper towel in the bag just to keep the moisture out until I had time to do these. So these are cut up and ready. I did not de-seed them. These are mild, sweet, and we're going to make this recipe that my friend gave me. And uh, it calls for apple cider vinegar. It calls for, and I think she said you could use just white vinegar, uh, pickling salt or cannon salt. I wouldn't use iodized salt. It calls for garlic cloves. And I found these in the produce section. I love these better than peeling them. They're already peeled and everything. They smell so good. And then this is optional. You can use mustard seed, celery seed. I'm probably going to use it just because that's what the recipe calls for. I don't know how many jars this makes because the recipe is cut off at the bottom. I printed it out and I forgot to ask her that. The most important thing that we have is a glass of Coke. And that is the most important thing. Somebody asked me the other day on uh, Facebook how I had so much energy. Well, Coke. <laughs> That's, that's my drink of choice. So we're going to get busy on this. The first thing we're going to do is make the brine. Now we're going to use apple cider vinegar and the pickling salt to do that and water. This recipe calls for three cups of apple cider vinegar. So I'm going to add the apple cider vinegar. So we're going to add our two cups of water to this pan. This calls for three teaspoons of pickling salt. One, two, three. Now these banana peppers are great. I use them a lot on sandwiches in the winter and I use them a lot on pizza. And you can also use them for beans. You can use them for so many things. This is going to be good. So. I'm going to turn this on, and I'm going to bring this to a boil. So I have cut my garlic cloves up, and it says to cut them in half and put one in each jar. My jars have been sanitized in the dishwasher. I have a sanitizing rinse. I'm pretty sure, even if you don't have that, that your dishwasher is sanitizing when it washes. So I've got eight jars because I don't know how many this is going to do yet. We can pull out whatever we need. So I've put half of a garlic clove in each of these. I think this is half pints, the little jelly jars. So here we're adding the mustard seed to each jar. Now these spices are optional. And always remember that the full recipe will be in the description box. And then it says to do three-fourths teaspoon of uh, celery seed. Have y'all noticed yet? Oh my goodness, I couldn't believe it. Are you laughing yet? I sure wasn't gonna let that mess up my video. I worked too hard. Hey, here we're filling up each jar with banana peppers. Now you wanna pack these really, really tight. We brought our brine to a full boil and we're filling each jar with the brine. And as always, in any canning project, we get the air bubbles out and then we clean the top of the jars. So I've told you this before, back in the day, we used to have to heat these lids up. You only use the new lids. You don't reuse lids. You either throw them away or put them in a special spot just for storage jars, which I do that a lot, but I don't keep all of them. So you just want to wash these with warm soapy water to make sure that they're clean from the uh, manufacturer. And then you want to place them on top of each jar. Now the same with the rings. You want to wash them in warm soapy water. And then you want to place them on the hot jar finger tight. 
This is just like any other canning recipe. Again, you want to use a, a leave a half inch headspace. I believe that's what it said. And do these finger tight. Look how pretty those are already. Now, when they go to the water bath, which I've got my water bath heating up, they could shrink and float a little bit. You just never know. I had green tomatoes do that the other day. If you hadn't saw my green tomato pickle recipe, you need to go watch that. It's a great recipe and easy. If you're a beginner canner, it's great. It's like the wind's blowing outside. I hope we get a storm because I'm in here canning. Can't be outside. I love it. Now, y'all saw this before too. This is my water bath canner. I think I'm going to use this because it's these are small jars. And you want to, I've got my water heating. And you want the water to be about an inch above the jars. So, yeah, I have a mess in my kitchen. It's always a mess during garden time. So, we're going to put all eight of these in. And then I'm going to work on another eight. Because I have enough to do that. Always remember, when you're water bathing, cold product in your jars goes in cold water. And then you heat up the water bath. Warm water, like we just did, the brine, will go in a hot water bath canner and it will reach a boiling point. And then you'll time it. And if I'm not wrong, it was 10 minutes. So let me grab this. This goes on top of these just to keep them still in the jar. And then I'm going to put my lid on. I've turned this, I'm turning this to canning. This is an electric water bath. If you haven't saw any of my canning videos, I tell about my canners in different videos. So you can go look that up. And I'll try to link them. I try to always do that. It's, sometimes it's hard. Sometimes I forget. So I'm going to get busy on these other jars. I actually chose larger jars to put these in because I want to get through with these banana peppers. So at this point, I've realized something was so funny in this video and I've fixed it. You can see my jars over here. So I'll show you a close up. Aren't they beautiful? They're so pretty. Pickled banana peppers. I think they're beautiful. I've got the canner full now. So I've got these finishing up. That's all I'm doing today. Tomorrow it's cowboy candy. Y'all stay tuned. Oh, I got to eat some cake. I told y'all that I would eat, do a taste test on that cake. So let me get just a little piece of this. So if you haven't saw the chocolate cake I made yesterday, it might have been uploaded a couple of days ago. You need to go watch that, and I'll link that in the description box. But I didn't get to do a taste test on here. This is a, it's called Coal Miner's Cake. Video's on there, and I'll link it. And I didn't get to do a taste test. I was leaving. I'll tell you, I've went ahead and we've already had a piece. I think it's delicious. Even at room temperature, it's good. I like it warmed up with ice cream too. I gave my friends a couple of piece, a uh, couple of pieces too. I hope they like it. I'm gonna go. Banana peppers done. Canner's full. I'm going to chill. See, sweet hunter. Mmm, good. So did you see it? <laughs> it was really funny. So we had sweet friends come over. I've got my gown on, by the way. We had sweet friends come over this afternoon. We had a wonderful visit. Anyway, we were sitting on the couch when all of a sudden one of my earrings dropped. And I, I was trying to put it back in. And then for some reason, I felt of the other, other ear. And I realized that earring was gone. So, anyway, if you didn't figure it out, I have one earring on. <laughs> and I wasn't going to redo this video. I started to just not do it. And then I thought, nope, because I worked too hard. And I did it for y'all. And you know what? It is what it is. The banana peppers are beautiful. Look at these. If y'all have banana peppers in your garden, you need to do this. It was so simple. Look at the mustard seeds and the celery seeds in the bottom. Isn't that pretty? This We're going to enjoy this on pizza, sandwiches, tacos, you know, anything that we want um, in the winter. It's going to be nice.
<laughs> but y'all, it is what it is. Just go ahead and laugh. It's okay. Y'all go cook something.